So as a kid, I would play chess with my grandpa Pat back in Ohio. Ohio? Yep. I was only about 10 years old at the time. I was just learning how to play. I was learning castling. And pawns can move two spaces forward. I didn't learn everything. He gave me a lot of instructions as a kid. Now, fast forward about 20 years later, Queen's Gambit comes out on Netflix and I watch it. Everyone watches it. Everyone loves it. Everyone's back into chess. So I pull up YouTube. I look up videos on how to get better. I watch Gotham chess. I looked up the Polish opening because that's what my grandpa would play. I think from my memory, I would always lose to it. So I thought it was good. The Polish opening is actually a very weak opening. You know they did to Poland. But nevertheless, you know, I start playing with it and I play against my brother, my future wife, I play with my friends. Things are actually going pretty well when I started out. I was thinking really critically about it. What I started to realize is that in chess they have a rating system and it's called your ELO. As a beginner, you usually start out with about 400 ELO and then from there you're able to upgrade to different titles. They have like International Master, Grand Master, all these really cool titles that you could earn. It's not really what I'm interested in, but it's really cool to find out that there was all these different kinds of goals that you could attain. I didn't realize there was a higher goal than just beating your friends or your family or whoever. I thought that that was the end of the line. End of the line, Tez. And I realized recently, after I get back into it, I start playing my wife, I start playing my friends, I start playing my brother. They're all beating me. Like, I'm playing horrible chess. You do! Hey guys, I just want to cut in real quick because I just feel like it's important that I mention that I am kind of doing this to help myself come to terms with making my grandpa proud in some way. So it would just be cool to maybe join a tournament locally or to try to get my ELO above a thousand. I think those are good goals and something that he would be, something I think he'd be proud of. So it'd be really cool to find a coach, maybe work with them and see if I can grow and improve that way. But didn't mean to cut in, back to me. <laughs> so to jump into what the video is about, which is practicing the wrong way. So I've actually been streaming myself playing on Twitch recently. Recently, you guys can go ahead and follow me over there. It's at Boyt Baller. I'll probably put it on somewhere on the screen. Beyond that, I plan on streaming things that I'm working on if you guys want to check out what I'm up to. I have been playing and practicing a little bit here and there. Let's go ahead and jump into that real quick and then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll see where I'm at with my practice. Test. All right, guys, I don't have any time to mess around. I gotta get this YouTube video out. We're gonna just jump into some games. I'm gonna screen record on my phone so you guys can see it on the screen, but I'm gonna be on this side a little bit more so you guys can see. All right, let's get into it. First thing is I have been playing a lot of 30 second chess games. I don't know why I'm doing that. It is not good practice, I know this, but let's jump into one. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. So you just play as fast as you can basically, which is just not very good chess. Like I'm sitting here like thinking for two seconds, you know what I mean? It's just not good. And if you happen to miss your finger for two seconds, it's like you're screwed. Uh, that was lucky. See, you can just get lucky and that's all you really need. Like that was stupid. That was so stupid. Why am I doing that? I don't know. I don't know. I need to chill the freak out. Let's go up here. Let's go here. Give a little check. Let's go here. That doesn't make any sense, but it's a check. See, I'm just trying to waste this time. I'm not even doing anything smart. See, that was stupid. That was also dumb. I don't know what he's doing. That's a check. That's a check. Ooh, not a check. Can I get a check? Oh, waiter. Check, please. I can do this. See, it's just about time now. So you can just pre-move to try and win, but that's it. See, I won, but it's just not satisfying. Okay, let's... Oh, they want to rematch. She wants all the smoke. We'll do a rematch, and then we'll move on from this, so I can show you guys black pieces how I usually play. This is actually how I usually play. It's pretty sad. I know my opening, so I go for my opening. That's not really truly the opening, but... So I just go for this stuff. It just doesn't really work. What am I doing here? I don't think that's what I want. I'm gonna get his... Ooh, that was free. Okay, take it. Okay. See, that's a check. Let's kick out his bishop in a second. See, I, I'm, I'm pretty decent at this because I've been playing it so much, but it's not a good thing to do. Let's do that. See, now it's a check. Let's go back here. Let's go over here. Like you just try to find as many checks as you can. I guess if you're interested in this kind of stuff, it's cool and all, but it's not ideal whatsoever. Here, over there, over there, go here. So yeah, I won by 10 seconds. It's actually pretty crazy. Okay. So next game, let's go ahead and pull it up here. So now I'm going to try and play five and two, which is close to the tournament that I want to play in five and three. Let's see how I can play this one. Now the issue is since I practice so much with the 30 second games, unfortunately, I play way too fast. Still too fast. I'm good. So like I already know my opening, so I'm not gonna think so hard about it, even though I should. Yeah, he's trying to go for this stupid cheesy move, so I'm gonna just block it before I progress with what I usually would. Okay, let's go here. Oh, that was bad. That was so dumb. Okay, let's go there. He's gonna get a check and see, I'm playing dumb. I have five minutes and I'm not thinking through my moves whatsoever. It's a free piece. Wow, that's very frustrating. Why did I, like literally, you see the issue. I, I'm practicing like it's a 30 second game. So therefore now I'm in a five minute game. I've lost one second this whole time. And this is how I'm playing. I really don't want to lose my queen. It's like my only thing. 
he's gonna take it. I can take back his queen, but it's just not very good. Like, why Why do I play this fast? See, I'm pretty tough on myself too. I, I mean, what else can I do? But what else can I do? I could slow down. Slow down, grab the wall. Like you're trying to make it like slow down. Think about it. This is how I practice. Why? I was just now I'm winning or I'm we're tied up. That was such an odd move though. Maybe I've got him flustered as well. He's also a hundred points less than me. Okay, let's let's use the whole five minutes and let's try to find a checkmate. I just I try it. See, when you practice that fast, you're not thinking enough. You just do, which sometimes is nice end game to have that skill, but like not for what I'm trying to do here. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to improve here. Let me get this a little bit focused better. Okay. Let's think of a strategy right now. I'm really well developed except for a bunch of my pieces are gone. Uh, homeboy is not so developed. Let's take central control. Let's see if we can get a little bit more principled play. It's my principles. We're talking about my principles. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to get the middle of the board, which can be powerful because if I do that, then it allows me to control the game. Let's see what moves I have here. We can push this pawn. I think that's not a bad move. Okay. I don't really mind that because it doesn't really do anything. Let's go. I do need to move my knight. I can either attack the bishop or move somewhere else. I kind of want to move somewhere else, but I think attacking is the best move anyway. Just can't go anywhere. That bishop can't really do anything. Okay. Let's go. Let's see if we can. Um, it does kind of take away my opportunity to bring the king back maybe we can go here so we can block that knight or i'm sorry block the bishop with the pawn and then i have the knight here to protect that pawn uh let's see he's going there let's go ahead and move i need to think of a uh, better solution for this let's go ahead here and try and get my king out of trouble because right now it's pretty vulnerable i'm kind of just walking you guys through what i'm thinking about that's on passant i think i like taking on passant Opposant is when a pawn takes another pawn that passed it with two, passed it with two. Let me see here. That's protected. Let's do this. So if he takes with this, uh, okay, so he did that, which, oh man, wow, that's too bad. I did not think that through. See, now he's up four. Just these little mistakes where I have more than half of a game left and it, we're pretty close to an end game now because I wasn't thinking very hard. Just really poorly played on my part. I want to get an attack going on this left side. I mean, if I'm smart, I think I can make some good moves here. In fact, let's just move this up one. Okay. I kind of hope you try to he tries to move that castle. Maybe I just need to take a couple breaths. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, this is stressing me out. Okay, that was a smart move, but it did take away his opportunity there. So this is called threat levels. This is something I've learned in the past where you go here, and if he takes my pawn, I can take his bishop. Okay, so now I can take his pawn. He can also take my pawn though. Let's move maybe the castle over here. This is stressing me out. Sorry, I'm looking down at my screen. Let me look at you guys a little bit more. Yeah, beautiful. Let's go right here. That's fine. Interesting move. Cause now I can just go here. And if he takes with his knight, that's a check. Plus I have the, oh wow. That was a dirty move on my part. If I do say so myself, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think that I might have a shot to win this game just because my opponent's not killing it really. They don't really seem to know what they're doing. Like that's a check, but like here you do that. I'll take back. Like, uh, I see. But now I have a fork, so I can take your bishop. Potentially another check, depending on where they move. Okay, they didn't get checked again. Okay, so that was a blunder, actually. Yeah, because I can go here. I guess they can give me a check, but it won't change anything. Ooh, and a potentially, like, a pass pawn right here is huge. Huge, potentially. If I can just wiggle by, how could I do this? I don't think I can give a check here. I need a back away or let's give it a little bit better focus right here. I'm gonna be this close. So how could I do this? If I go here, it protects it, I guess, but I wanted to pass pawn because that's what would get me the win. Mm. Okay, here's a check though. If I give a check, he can't take it. And then I can move up one. He can't take it because I'll take back. I think that was ideal. So now go ahead and take it and I'll take back. Okay. Hmm. How do I want to deal with this? If I, sorry, if I queen here, is that good? Cause it's a check. I guess it just forces him to take. Yeah. And that's another check. Okay. Here's a check. I should be losing, but we'll see. I have another check I can give when needed. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's do this then. I don't think that was a very smart move to be honest. I think I'm about to fork with my king. This, this is, <laughs> This is intense right now. 
Yeah, that wasn't a good move. Not sure what they were doing. I have a chance to win, actually. Okay, well, that's just a fork again. So I'm hitting the king and this pawn. So now we're tied up. Wow, that's crazy. Another check. Okay. If he moves the pawn, then I can just take with my knight now. I might win this. I might win this. Wow. Right now I'm up a pawn. Ooh, okay. If you take, I think I win. Oh, it's a draw. It's still zero, zero, zero. To zero. Dang. Okay, after all that, it's a draw. Okay, well, now let's look. I had a minute 16 left. This is the most like training training I've done in a while. So let's actually look at what happened. Let's look at, well, yeah, let's do self-analysis. Okay, so from the beginning, it says white's a little bit better, right? So they get the first move. They play e4. I play <clears throat> whatever my opening is called, I forget. Now it says that I'm winning. Now it says that they have a chance. Now they go for it. Okay, so I should have just kept playing my game. Okay, that was a mistake a little bit, but it's okay. Then they go there. Now I'm really winning. Then I played the complete wrong move and they're up four, okay? They're up 10 now, because they I just am making blunder after blunder after blunder. Now they're up 15, now they're up 10. Okay, now I'm 11. So like this means that they're, they were, it's like if, as if they had another queen and pawn, almost two pawns against me because I'm playing so poorly. Doesn't take the queen there. That makes me up a piece. Uh, I don't understand why they did that. They either should have moved their queen away, like back or something like taken my queen, like it suggests, and then trade the queens, but they didn't. Okay, so they go there, I take, go up. The fact that we draw drew this game after that beginning though is hilarious. So that's the thing though, is at the beginning of the game, I need to realize that I need to play it with the knight going up if I get in that situation because a lot of people try to play that gambit thing or whatever it's called, like, not a gambit, but they try to play it where they, like, are cheeky. Yeah, okay, cheeky, yeah, yeah. And they just try to, like, checkmate you in, like, three moves. I, I hate it because it's, like, not really that hard to do and it's really not a great move, but worked against me. Not in the way they wanted it to, but it worked. Okay, so I go there. Right now I'm still up, right? So I'm making good moves. Saying I should move my king now, I move my queen. <clears throat> That's fine. Should have taken, I guess, the other way. They take, that was the best move. I go up. Okay, so that move was really bad. Let's look at why. So I should have moved in my bishop, it's saying, to protect my knight, because what happens is, I think if, if I go here, they can go here. No, that's not the best move. Oh, then they go there and it's protected and then I have to move. Okay, I see. Okay, I see what's going on now. I think I learned most of what I needed to know. Okay, so this move was really smart, I guess. Brought me back to zero. And then I took, they took, I took, they took. That put them up again. I did that. I took. See, that was the wrong move there. See, I thought that taking with the knight would be better because then I'm hitting the castle, but it was wrong case. So then I took there. He was making a lot of the right moves. I made that move, which I thought about for a while. I went the wrong way. Ooh, winning big time if they caught that. They missed it. Missed it. Interesting. So now it's just zero, zero. I think this is, it's just a draw, right? But for some reason, I would have thought I could win though. It just gave them the draw when it was king and... Okay, so... What happened in the end is it gave them the draw, but technically after he took, my king could have taken and then I would have just been up one and that would, I think you can check me. I don't know how, but I'm pretty sure you can. So that's frustrating. Anyway, okay. All right, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I'm gonna be finding a chess mentor in the next video. If you guys are interested in how to find mentors and different things like that, I'm gonna have a lot of that on my channel going forward. So go ahead and click on the link to the next video and you guys can see how I do that. Hopefully we find someone good and keep rolling downhill, guys.